Hey guys, Chris Dennison here from Dirt Rider. I am up in the high desert at Competitive Edge MX Park testing the 2016 KTM 450 SXF. So KTM made a number of changes to the 450 SXF this year. Pretty much all of them revolve around making the bike lighter, making the engine more compact, lowering the center of gravity, and just making all around better performance. One thing that we're super happy about, the bike retains the WP4CS fork. Now that's not our favorite fork on earth, but it's not an air fork, it's still spring. So that creates a lot of simplicity for the rider. You're not pumping up the fork when you first get to the track. That's kind of a nice feature. It's a really good track for the 450's power because the bike loves to be revved you can absolutely just let it sing to the moon and leave it in a low gear and it does great. Also too though, the bike will lug, so it's very versatile depending on how you like to ride the bike and the power. Uh, overall, very happy with the motor. It's, it's crisp, it's clean, the tuning's great. Uh, for me, the suspension was really planted and comfortable on the track. It didn't get too rough today, not a lot of riders. There was some sections, mainly really hard jump faces. I felt like the shock was blown through a little bit. You would get halfway through the stroke, it would go kind of quick towards the bottom half. So we put a half turn of uh, high-speed compression in it that helps give it a little bit more hold up you know the lower weight you feel that everywhere on the KTM uh, it's lighter handling if you're changing direction so if there's a quick left or right it just doesn't feel as top heavy as before also you feel it in the air the bike is very maneuverable easy to throw around and whip and kind of change lines and everything this bike has got this nimble feel and I really appreciate it still has the strong 450 power but I felt like I could actually control it like a 250F and that's what I really appreciate about this the new KTM ever since the 2015 and a half is they riding position is just a little more familiar and to me I'm 5'10 it feels pretty compact but I think that in a good way and if I had to make one change to the ergos I would say uh, drop the seat a little bit because it has that feeling of being on top of the bike and I actually prefer the feeling of being down in the bike. As far as the suspension just landing off jumps it's incredibly plush. I, I was really impressed with that. Uh, we had some settings out here that Chris who's going faster tried out and for me those felt a little little chattery in the small stuff but on landings it was incredibly plush. I love the suspension. We're going to spend a couple more days on the bike and then it's going straight into our 2016 450 motocross shootout. Keep an eye on the magazine. We'll have a full report soon.